क्वेश्चन नंबर 116 अ स्टूडेंट ऑब्जर्व द प्लांट सेल अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप कंटेनिंग मोर देन टू कंप्लीट सेट्स ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स व्हाट वुड बी द पॉसिबल रीजन ऑफ अब फेनोमेन सी दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन हेयर इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज मेंशन दैट मोर देन टू कंप्लीट सेट्स ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स first non disjunction of chromosomes when during the meiosis there is non disjunction of the chromosomes then you will find the doubling of the chromosomes but it is not the more than two sets of chromosome because when there is non disjunction you will find two sets of chromosomes but not the more than two sets of chromosomes so this is incorrect failure of cytokinesis after karyokinesis yes when there is failure of cytokinesis after karyokinesis you can get more than two sets of chromosomes absence of cell plate formation in a plant cell during cytokinesis there is a cell plate formation if there is no cell plate formation it means there is no cytokinesis again it is failure of cytokinesis after karyokinesis so again it will lead to the formation of more than two complete sets of chromosomes so both 2 and 3 are correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question question number 117 how many of the following features are common in both g1 and g2 stages of interphase duplication of cell organelles it takes place in g1 as well as g2 phase in g2 phase there is duplication of the mitochondria chloroplast as well as golgi apparatus apart from these cell organelles all other cell organelles are duplicated in the g1 phase synthesis of tubulin proteins only in 2 g2 phase deoxyribonucleotide synthesis only in the g1 phase ATP synthesis again both in the g1 and the g2 phase for both g1 and g2 stages A and D are common so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 118 in all of the given phases amount of dna in a cell is double but the chromosome number is same except see in the s phase when there is replication of dna the dna amount doubles but the chromosome number remains the same you must have studied in your ncert that if before s phase there is amount of dna is 2c after s phase it becomes 4c so the amount of dna becomes doubles but the number of chromosome if it is x after s phase it remains x only so post mitotic gap phase is the g1 phase synthesis phase is the s phase pre mitotic gap phase means just before the mitosis it is the g2 phase and it is the pro phase so if you see the cell cycle g1 s g2 and pro phase in the m phase because pro phase is the first phase of the m phase of the mitosis so here you will find the double amount of dna in s phase in g2 phase as well as in the m phase but you won't found the double amount of dna in the g1 phase so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 119 microtubules which radiate out of centrosome are called so when you see the cell division you see that in animal cells at the opposite poles there is a structure called the centrosome which contains centrioles these microtubules which arise from the centrosome are called the asters and uh, because they form the star shaped structures so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 what about the kinetochore kinetochore is the c shaped structure from where the microtubules are attached during the cell division phragmoplast is the structure which is formed during the cytokinesis in the plant cell interzonal fibers are also made up of microtubules but they do not radiate out of the centro zone so asters are seen in the animal cells as centrioles are absent in the plant cells let's see the next question 
Question number 120. Again, it is very interesting question that a myocyte, a cell which is undergoing the meiosis, had 15 bivalents at prophase 1. Okay. How many chromosomes and chromatids respectively will be there in each daughter cell after completion of meiosis? What is a bivalent? You should know first. A bivalent is this kind of structure means it has a pair of homologous chromosomes. So a pair of homologous chromosomes in the prophase 1 is called the bivalent. So one bivalent has four chromatids. One, two, three, four and the two centromere. Now, if this is the condition in the prophase 1, then how many chromosomes and chromatids will be seen in the each daughter cell after meiosis 1? Let's take an example. We are taking a single bivalent that is one bivalent and then we will count for the 15 bivalents. After meiosis 1, And what will you get after meiosis 2? So after meiosis, if this is the condition, in the prophase 1, after completion of meiosis 1, you will get 2 cells and after meiosis 2, you will get 4 daughter cells. After meiosis 1, these two homologous chromosomes, they will separate during the anaphase 1 in different daughter cells. And after meiosis 2, this single chromatid will go here and the next one will go here. So this will form the two daughter cells. This will form the two daughter cells. Each daughter cell with the single chromatid. So this single chromatid is known as single chromosome also. Now, if we are taking a single bivalent, one bivalent in the prophase 1, we are getting a single chromosome and a single chromatid after the completion of meiosis 2. So these are the daughter cells. So if we have 15 bivalents, you can multiply that you will get the 15 chromosomes or the 15 chromatids. So you will get the 15 chromosomes and or the 15 chromatids at the end of the meiosis too. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm.